what is up everybody it's your girl Nelly Mel back again for another video yes I know it has been a long ass time since I posted a video please don't kill me I know I, I know but it's November 1st and I told myself I'm finna be getting this YouTube channel up off the ground and taking it seriously so today I wanted to record a video of something I like to introduce called what we're not gonna do and for this first installment of what we're not gonna do i felt it very necessary in my heart to bring up this topic of my wife the love of my life kiki palmer honey so we're gonna just sit here and talk about what we're not gonna do in regards to kiki palmer and this video of her kissing up this white boy so first and foremost what we're not gonna do in regards to kiki kissing this white boy is act like she's dishonoring black people she's not preserving the black race yes honey i have seen tweets going around talking about um we need to preserve the black race we need to do that by any cost honey what we're not going to do is put all of that weight on miss kiki because that is not her job that she did not sign up to preserve the black race just by being a black woman she is a young girl let her have her fun it's kissing a white boy stop it Secondly, what we're not going to do is act like Kiki hasn't been a major voice during this whole Black Lives Matter protesting. She has been out on the front lines, honey, putting in work. She has been up faced with the um, actual police guards, begging them to march with her, begging for equality in their face. So we're not going to act like Kiki hasn't put in the actual groundwork for black people. We're not going to do that, honey people be so oh we need to preserve the black race we need to preserve the black race why is it only black women like kiki who's out there actually on the front lines doing that what black man do you know that went viral or even that you know that was out and about in front face like a, a black male celebrity that was out there pushing it like kiki was like come on now we're not gonna sit here and act like she wasn't really on the ground making something happen for us black folk Thirdly, what we're not going to do is try to hold Kiki accountable for just kissing this white boy when there have been black men all year long, honey. Not even just this year. A lot of our whole lives, we done grew up listening to these black men perpetuating all types of stuff about dating other races, having that preference for other races. We just gonna let them go ahead about their business, but we gonna hold Kiki to task. Of all people, we can hold Kiki Palmer to test, but not these grown-ass black men that's been doing this shit for years and making coin off of it for years. Like, what we're not about to do is sit here and bash Kiki for simply just posting a quick little video of her kissing a boy, a white boy, when they are grown-ass black men, black men way past her senior, honey, that are out there currently cooning for um, a certain DT, Donald Trump honey come on now now are we really gonna sit here and try to make a whole big spiel about kiki a black woman a young black woman just kissing a, a white bo a white boy when there are whole grown men that been here here for years older than her been on this earth longer than her that are still up here acting like a fucking monkey for a president honey for a white president but we're not gonna hold them to task but we're gonna hold kiki to task Honey, we ain't gonna do it. Uh, fourthly, what we're not about to do is sit here and oh, all of a sudden we're gonna make this big buzz that Kiki kissing a white boy. When Kiki came out and publicly was saying, was saying black men like Trey Songs was out here trying to catch her up in a closet. Honey, we are not finna sit here and bash this girl for going out and be free, kissing on a white boy when there have been black men. Also like that man, um, what's his name? August Al Sleeper. Sitting here trying to bash her on Twitter, talking all this mad garbage about her. A black man. A black man. Sitting here just going online, going crazy over her because he getting caught up with an old wench. But anyway, we finna sit here and bash Kiki for kissing a white boy when black men have publicly been after her physically. They've been on social media after her, criticizing her, trying to attack her character. But we gonna sit here and worry about her kissing a white boy. Um, fifthly, honey, I don't know if that's what, fifthly, honey, we're not finna sit here and act like Kiki has not constantly and consistently praise black men on social media honey anytime you could pull up her twitter her social media anytime that woman is out there praising these black men like no other i promise you that she gives all the love to black men even some black men that i personally don't agree with like tyler perry but she she gives these black men big ups constantly and consistently 
So we're not finna sit here and make a big buzz about her kissing, simply kissing a white boy. When Kiki has done enough for black people, she's done a, more than a, a black men have been doing. Not even just this year, but anytime we've ever known Kiki, she's been an activist. She's been that large voice out there. Kiki gives for black people. She gives. So we're not going to sit here and bash her for simply kissing somebody of another race. So, in conclusion, what we're not finna do is sit here and try to drag Kiki for making a grown woman decision. As a black woman, she made a decision to post a pic of her kissing her boo, whatever she want to do with her life. And we're not finna sit here and bash her for that. That's what we're not finna do. Kiki is a strong black woman and she has a strong black presence. And that's something that a lot of people can't take. And a lot of people criticize her. For just being herself and just loving her black skin, loving her black features, loving other black people. But then they want to put her under the microscope and just sit here and nitpick everything that she do. No, what we're not going to do is do that. Leave Miss Kiki alone. Let Miss Kiki date, kiss, fuck, do whatever the fuck she want with whoever the fuck she want. Because so what I'm going to need people to do is leave Miss Kiki alone, honey. Let her do her because when she's doing right by black people, y'all don't want to hear her. Y'all don't see her. Y'all don't give her the praises that she's been deserving of. But y'all want to see her try to tear her down for kissing another person, showing love and light and positivity. Just kissing another person, made a cute little joke about on her Twitter, talking about her trusting people again, a little rare moment. And she getting dragged like this for kissing a white man. Let her do her. That's, maybe that's her preference, like these black men. You know, they love to say that. They, they, they love to prefer to date outside the race. So don't be mad when Miss Kiki doing it, honey. We're not going to do the whole um, hypocrisy. We're not going to do the double standard. So we're going to let Miss Kiki live, let Miss Kiki love, and continue on about our day, honey. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you got your life with this little segment. I definitely plan on doing more. I think I'll just be doing little pop culture um like topics that pop up because honey i'm here for a read and what we're not going to do is read miss kiki not on my watch period so stay tuned for more if you like this let me know thumbs up like subscribe whatever but let me know if you you like this little segment because i do plan on doing more so thanks for tuning in